So hello there everyone and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for me to bring you yet another FIFA 19 players to buy video. This is the mini series where I bring you 10 players every single week that you should try and sign in your FIFA 19 career mode saves. It's a way of getting ahead of the game and the videos, the players sorry, in this video are here based upon how good they are on current FIFAs and also how good they were in real life and how good their performances were overall which should hopefully mean they get better ratings and better potentials going forward into this new game. If you go on to enjoy the video, slap a like on it and of course subscribe if you are new to the channel. I just want to say a massive thank you as well to One Football who are sponsoring this particular video. As you may well know, they are a news and results app where you can check out all of the information and all the score lines based around your favourite teams and you can choose them specifically so that you only get news and updates and notifications on your phone about the teams that you support. Link will be down in the description below for you to go and download that one. But the first player in this video is Kai Havertz, the German attacking midfielder from Bayer Leverkusen. This guy has had a ridiculous, to be honest with you, last couple of month, uh, years, not months, well he's had a cool last couple of months as well, but mainly a couple of years. Uh, obviously made his debut for Bayer Leverkusen at just 17, had to miss a Champions League tie last season because he was doing his exams, and also most recently he's been called up to the German national side, which is a massive feet for someone so young. Can play as an attacking mid, right mid and also as a secondary striker, as a centre forward. 77 overall already at 18 years of age is ridiculous. Four star skill moves, very pacey, great dribbling and also very, very decent passing as well which is great for a player in that attacking midfield role. Six foot one as well. Uh, he'll probably grow given he's only 18 realistically uh, in terms of height as well. Four goals, nine assists for him last year and 88 potential already. Now next up is someone that I'm seeing secretly very excited about. I love signing players that nobody else knows about or knowing about players that nobody else knows about and I feel like this is one of them to an extent. Diardi Samasaku of Red Bull Salzburg, I hope I have pronounced that right, is in my eyes or could well be the next Naby Keita. I think they're from the same nation, I think they're both from Mali. Uh, the defensive midfielder is 21 years of age, 72 overall and is according to most statistical websites extremely extremely good. If I'm honest, I've never seen him play. He plays in the Austrian Bundesliga. It's not exactly a league that is shown in the UK. So I, I wish I could have seen him play. But seemingly, he's a very good player. Unfortunately, that hasn't really been registered by FIFA yet. His potential isn't massively high. I think it's 80 and his overall is 72. But watch out for him next year as a bit of a hidden gem. Because he might well be yet another one of those box-to-box -box powerhouse midfielders that you can pick up. And he's also already scored a goal this year. Got a Bundesliga title in Austria last year. And got four assists to his name as a defensive mid too. So definitely someone to keep an eye out for as a hidden gem. Mile Svilar is the only goalkeeper in this video. And he's the third player overall in it. 17 years of age, very young. 65 rated. Found himself moving from Anderlecht to Benfica during the course of the season. Or it might have been actually at the start of the season. I can't quite remember. But... Uh, the Benfica man unfortunately hasn't had the greatest start to life in the Portuguese league. I mean he is very young still and he will get his time. He will be a very good player and he will still have a very good potential but he made a crucial mistake in Europe which unfortunately saw his side go out uh, in the knockout stages I believe when he played. Since then he's not got a huge amount of game time but he's certainly a prospect player he and Benfica are a very good team. I wouldn't necessarily expect an 18 year old to be starting every game for Benfica so watch out for him regardless. He should still have about 85 potential. Uh, Chengi Unda is next up. I've never really known how to pronounce this guy's first name and I've always gone for Chengi but I don't know whether that's correct or not so someone let me know down in the comments section whether A that was close and B if not what is it because I've, I've never known but the Turkish winger can play on both sides of the wing on the right and on the left. Very good crossing, dribbling, long shots, ball control and obviously as is the case with pretty much every winger these days is extremely pacey. 20 years of age, 77 overall and a potential of around about 86 at the moment. Got 8 goals in 32 appearances in his first season for Roma. That means he won't be recently signed anymore and you will be able to sign him in the first season now of your career mode saves. 4 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves is always great as well on a winger in terms of his player information. He's someone that's definitely going to be good in game and also good in terms of potential as well. Now we love to have these under the radar players and here is another one. Bear with me, Martin Aguirre Gabria, I think is his name, or Aguirre Gabria, I can't quite remember, but he's known as just Martin on FIFA, they don't have his second name for some reason, but the Deportivo Alaves right back is someone who's broken into the starting 11 during the course of this year. I know he's not going to be as good as someone like Alvaro Odriozola, but 
but he might well be someone in the same mould as you've never heard of him and then suddenly he bursts on the scene and has a very decent potential of around about 83 or 84. You never know, he played quite a few games for Alaves last season, grabbed himself 21 appearances and also got 4 assists as well. Not bad to be getting into a starting 11 of a mid-table Spanish side at just the age of 21. Attacking work rate is good on him as well and you know it's always a struggle sometimes to get good fullbacks, especially good young fullbacks. He's someone that'll be quite cheap and should have a potential of at least 80. Christian Kuame next up and he is someone that needs a lot more hype than he is getting. The man was playing for Citadella in Serie B last year. Uh, we'll talk about his attributes in a second but he managed to grab himself 13 goals and 13 assists. He was involved in 26 goals in something like 26 appearances in the second tier of Italian football. That is very impressive, regardless of the league you're in. I know it's the second tier of Italian football, but he's now moved on to Genoa. Unfortunately, you won't be able to sign the Ivorian in the first transfer window. 70 rated, and he's already got a goal and an assist in two appearances for his new team. This guy could genuinely be very, very good in the future. 19 years of age, very pacey, decent strength on this guy as well, and good finishing as you would expect for someone with such a good record last season. His skill moves were a slight downer, only two star, but four star weak foot means he can finish on both feet, which is nice. Nicolo, Nicolo Barella even is next up from Cagliari. The 76 rated centre mid is someone that everybody should know about at this point. 76 rated and 88 potential for this guy, but he is definitely someone you should still pick up if you've got a lot of cash floating around. Very classy player, I'm not going to lie to you. Diminutive, very good playmaker, very agile, good dribbling, good balance and all that sort of stuff as well. He's 20 years of age and yeah, as I mentioned, he's going to grow a lot. Even if his potential is decreased for some reason, it's still going to be like 86 or 87. He's still going to be someone well worth picking up. And at the moment, it is still 88. So EA haven't seen any reason to downgrade him in recent upgrades and all that sort of stuff. He might well be the future of Italy. He grabbed six goals uh, in the course of 2017-18 for Cagliari. And he may well get himself a big money move soon. Next up, though, is Kevin Danzo, the third to last player in this video. The Austrian centre-back has broken into Augsburg starting 11. Now, I realise that doesn't sound massively impressive, but Augsburg are, you know, mid-table, at, at, you know, at least uh, Bundesliga side. So imagine if an 18-year-old centre-back just started playing every single game for Leicester over the course of a season. You'd probably be like, oh, who's this kid? Well, exactly. Danzo is the alternative. Over in the Bundesliga, looks like a very, very solid player, does this guy. Got the long throw-in trait, if that is what floats your boat. He's a very good player. He's got very solid stats as well, and his defensive stats are already very, very good. At 18 years of age, that's, that's a solid foundation to build upon going forward into FIFA 19. If you think his pace is lacking or his strength is lacking, you can train that it going forward into FIFA 19 career mode anyway so if you think his physicals are a little bit lower just go ahead and train them and it'll become very much a uh, sort of uh, complete centre back someone you should definitely pick up for cheap because I think he's going to be about 73 or potentially even 74 going forward onto FIFA 19. Next up the penultimate player is Ismaila Saar who was on World Cup duty for Senegal over the summer. The Stad René winger can play on both sides and also up front as a striker. 73 overall for this kid and a very decent potential of the mid 80s as well. Two goals and one assist already in three games this year. That could be a signal of a very big year for the kid because last year he only got five goals and five assists across the entire season so he's already got about a third of the way or at least a quarter of the way towards that tally this season at the start of the year so he could be a very decent one he could well have a very good season and could be upgraded a lot during the course of it 73 overall is quite low in my opinion I think he should at least be 75 going forward into next year the one issue with him is his one star weak foot which is really a bit of an issue hopefully that is upgraded at least slightly going forward into FIFA 19 the final player though is this man here, Frankie De Jong. It wouldn't be one of these videos without an Ajax player, would it, realistically? Well, he comes in clutch right at the end. The central midfielder who's got great ball control, great dribbling, and really good short passing as well. Really classy central midfielder and someone who should develop into a very good playmaker very easily. Is 20 years of age. He grabbed himself eight assists last season. Doesn't sound all that impressive for a centre mid with good passing stats, but that was during the first half of the season. The second half of the season, he spent injured, but also playing as a centre back, where you're not going to be getting any assists so those eight assists came in the first I think it was like 14 games of the season which is a very very good record for him three star weak foot three star skill moves medium attacking and defensive work rate and has a potential currently of 85 hopefully it will remain something similar to that and you can buy him 
and have him at that sort of overall very quickly on your FIFA 19 career mode saves. That though is going to be it for players to buy on career mode this time around. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you've taken notes of the players involved. All of them should be great pickups I'm hoping going forward into FIFA 19 career modes and yeah I'm excited to use all of them hopefully during the course of my particular career mode series. If you enjoyed the video though slap a like on it, subscribe if you're new to the channel and also follow me on social media if you want to. My Twitter and Insta are both at the official FNG and links are down below. Once again feel free to check out OneFootball. Massive shout out to them for sponsoring this video. Link is down below in the description description but it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today have a great day enjoy yourselves and goodbye <laughs>